Hey everybody, Ron Bielefeld, Whistling Wings Photography. Uh, got a little tip trick for you this morning. A uh, short video. My last couple have been really, really long. I promise this one's going to be a lot shorter. Um, you know, everybody at times, it seems, with uh, wildlife photography, bird photography, has used monopods or tripods to stabilize uh, the situation that they're in. Uh, they're extremely useful, but there are limitations to tripods and monopods. Uh, one of them is if you're on a, on a surface where you can't uh, stabilize yourself, like on a boat, you know, that's rocking and stuff like that, if you have a tripod or a monopod, of course, that's resting on the deck of the boat or whatever, it's going to move with the boat and you're not going to be able to, um, to compensate for that movement. Uh, so today I'm going to show you a little trick uh, that, uh, or a little system that I've been using. And I have to give credit to, to the person who showed me this, this uh, system, uh, Mr. Barry Levins. Thanks so much, Barry. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about, you know, what I've got uh, set up right here and uh, some of the positive things about it uh, versus using a tripod or a monopod. I already mentioned the isolation from movement, right? Uh, so what I've got is basically a uh, harness right here, right? Double straps over your shoulder that has a little pocket in it and uh, got the monopod basically put in uh, the, the pocket, just extended just a little bit so it'll go in there. And then on the top, I have a gimbal head, a really interesting and awesome, I think, gimbal head that Wimberley here in the United States has recently uh, developed and brought to market and it's called the mono gimbal head and this is really you know the the, the um, main part of this whole system that makes it work uh, so the gimbal head here is just this small portion up here right and it's short it's light and it's in close to the uh, center axes of, of the of the monopod so it doesn't put a lot of weight out on either side and it's a gimbal head. It's not like typical monopod heads where you've got a system that lets you go you know, front, back, or up and down like this. It actually has a sidekick type mount on it that allows you to balance your camera and lens uh, combination on the head and that's really the key, right? And keep it in close to the center line of the monopod. And so most, you know, you could try to use a regular gimbal head, but they tend to be tall, out to the side, or big and bulky and add a lot of weight. This is tiny, it doesn't do really anything to add any kind of weight or anything, but yet it allows you to balance uh, your rig on, on the monopod. And of course it has a knob that you can lock things down. And so if you, if you have your your foot ring uh, loose so you can pivot and then this loose so you can pivot you've got all axes of movement right just like a regular gimbal uh, head situation so you can track birds in flight you can uh, you know do just about anything the reason why I uh, love this so much is I'm doing a little more video than I used to and you have to track birds uh, if you're doing video of flying birds for a lot longer period of time and stay steady, right? And so this really allows uh, me to do that versus trying to handhold. You know, for still shooting high shutter speeds most of the time, you know, you can you can be a little little jumpy and and stuff and still get sharp images. And it's generally not a long, long, long time that you're having to hold steady. Whereas with video and this system, you can really hold steady for a long time and track really, really nicely. Uh, you know, you can do this, you can do that, however you like to shoot, you still have, but no weight, right? No weight on your hands or on your arm out front. This is a 600 F4 with a 1.4 times teleconverter, and I'm shooting the Canon R5, and it's even got the adapter. So this is, this is not a light, a light rig, and I can sit here all day and do this because all the weights on my shoulders, none are on my hands or my arms. Uh, so it's a great, great system for if you're in a situation, again, where you have to stabilize things because of a boat, or if you have to hold steady for a long, long time for video, or even for stills. If you've got, let's say, an owl that's on a branch and it's sleeping and you're waiting for it to wake up, and you know how it goes, you know, the, the, you're trying to hold it up there, hold it up there, hold it up there, and the second you bring your camera down, right, because you can't hold it up any longer, 
they do something, right? They do what you've been waiting for. Now you can sit here forever. I mean, literally, you could sit here forever uh, and not have, you know, tired hands and arms and stuff like that uh, when the action starts to happen. One of the other great benefits of this system with the harness and the monopod and this head is that unlike a tripod or a monopod, I'm standing up right now. If I was using a tripod or a monopod, if I wanted to sit down, right, I'd have to change the length of my of all my legs on the tripod or the one leg on the monopod before I could sit down and use it uh, to, to steady myself again. Not with this system. You can see I could I can kneel, uh, I can squat, I could sit down. Uh, I don't have to change anything. Heck, I could lay down on my belly and shoot if I really wanted to. Okay, so it's really really fast in that respect. If I want to move down a bit, right down the down the way a bit because something's happening. If I have a tripod, I got to fold up the legs or carry the legs or or whatever and over my shoulder and get down there. Here I just start walking. I just start walking. I can walk prepared to shoot, right? Prepared to shoot. So this system right here is really uh, something that that I've fallen in love with, especially for video, but even for stills, uh, for people that can't uh, hold up uh, real heavy rigs like a 600 f/4 and have gone to lighter lenses because they can't do that, but they wish they could still shoot a 600 f/4 or a 500 f/4 or something like that. This may get you back into that game, right? You may be able to do that again. Uh, and it, you know it's it's so flexible for what you can do and again this is how this kind of goes together um, you know just extended the the leg just a little bit on the bottom of the monopod and it goes in this pocket now what is this harness right what's the harness this harness is a military surplus it's made for parades military parades right the flagpole holder marching in the parade this is where the flagpole goes so they can hold the flag out in front right so that's what this is this one is a relatively expensive one because it's double harnessed and it's and it's got really thick uh, straps on it and it has the uh, fabric pouch which I really really like some of them have a plastic cup or a metal cup it's an option right uh, this one's I think $69 uh, on uh, in military surplus stores if you go online and google it uh, the monopod is just a relatively cheap enduro monopod it's not even carbon fiber I love the enduro this enduro monopod for this uh, I don't even think they make the, the aluminum one anymore, but they have a carbon fiber one that you could do, or any, I'm sure you have a monopod that would work just fine. The head, right, the Wimberly head, the mono gimbal head. Uh, you know, it's uh, 179 I believe, online. So if you want to set up a rig like this and you have questions uh, about uh, anything about it, you know, just leave a comment in the comment section, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So I promised a short video, and so this is a quick, uh, quick uh, look at this rig that I've been using, and uh, hopefully you'll give it a try. And if you do, and you have comments or suggestions about making it better, uh, leave those in in the uh, comments as well. Until next time, see you soon.